Hey guys and welcome back. It's so great to see all of your beautiful smiling faces. Today we're going to focus in on our hips and our AT band. So we're going to work through a yin practice and so we're going to slow it down. It's a nice balance if you have a strong, a stronger practice where you like to run or do anything that's really kind of vigorous. Um, so this is a great one just to kind of take the practice inside to focus in on yourself and we're going to work through those IT bands and those those glutes and those hips today. So grab your mat, grab your workout gear and I'll see you back here in just a moment. We're going to start today's practice just sitting on the mat. You can sit on your legs, on a bolster, on a block, sit cross-legged, however feels most comfortable for you. And I want you just to close your eyes and take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Just take a moment to bring the practice back. To bring the focus on yourself. And to look inside. Take a moment just to be present to observe how you feel. With that, I want you to slowly blink open those eyes. And we're gonna make our way into our first pose. So we're gonna come into shoelace pose or square pose. So you have two options. You can either stack the legs one on top of another, so square them up this way and take a lean forward, so walk those hands forward, and you're welcome to stay here, so your left leg is on top of the right leg. Or if you'd like a different variation, try both, see what feels right for you. You're going to cross those legs, stack those knees up on top of each other, and then take the fold forward, so find what feels best for you. And just breathe. I want you to slowly let go, so closing those eyes, and just breathing. Getting into those glutes, the outsides of those IT bands, those stubborn muscles that get so short and cramped as we sit at our desks every day. So taking the time here today to just relax. And just to Slowly work through these poses today. See if you can find a little bit more space, a little bit more length. Remembering only to move if you are trying to go deeper. Or if you've gone a little too deep and need to back off a bit. Feel free to close your eyes. And just focus. Focus on how you feel. You can focus on your breath. We're halfway. Keep breathing. Take a scan of the body and see if there's anywhere that you can let go. Maybe you're holding on in those hips. See if you can find length, space, and the freedom to just relax and fold. Keep breathing. Through a yin practice, we find a way to quiet our mind, 
to relax, to let go. Forty-five seconds left. Final thirty seconds to go. From here, slowly back out, uncross those legs, and make your way into a rebound pose. So go ahead and lay flat onto your back. And just relax. Feel the sensation of energy rushing back. Okay, so maybe that left glute, maybe a little bit in the right hip as well. Notice how it feels. Notice how you feel. Keep breathing, letting the body recover. From here, slowly sit up. And we're going to make our way into the other side this time, cross the left leg. When the right leg comes on top, you're welcome to stack the legs, one on top of the, um, the other. Or, and fold from here, come forward. Or if you'd like, you can come into shoelace pose. So you're really going to cross those legs, try to stack those knees. And then you'll inhale and just come forward nice and slow. And try to relax. Letting the body go. Let the head hang, the shoulders relax. Really work into that right glute. Inhaling and exhaling. Noticing how the body feels as you're sitting in this pose. Any emotions that start to run through the body, just acknowledge them. See if you can find a way to release the hips a little bit further. We're halfway. See if maybe you can move a little bit deeper into the pose. Oftentimes we find that these poses can be a bit of a tug of war where we're trying to go deeper but the body doesn't want to let us go. If you surrender to the pose, just start to relax. To breathe, bringing the focus back to the area in which the pose is targeting, so that glute, that right glute. Seeing if you can find a space.
the room to go deeper. Just keep breathing. We're almost there. One minute left to go. Last 30 seconds. From here, slowly back out. Releasing the body, making your way into your resting pose, whether it's on your back or on your stomach, whatever feels right for you. Notice the change of the feelings that are running through your body. Notice how your hips feel. Notice how the glute on the right side feels. Maybe you've got a whole bunch of emotions running through your body. Just acknowledge them. Another 30 seconds here. Here, slowly make your way all the way back up. We're gonna move into a swan pose. We'll start with our left side. You're gonna take your left leg, cross it forward. A variation for this is deer pose. So if you're having trouble getting, to, getting, getting into swan or sensitive knees, you can come to a 90 degree angle with your front leg and a 90 degree angle with your back leg. And you can take a twist off to your left and then bring your elbows down to the ground and start to work through this twist here, or work through the, through the glutes. And you wanna sit forward into the pose, you're really getting into that glute. If you want to take it to the full swan pose, you're going to extend that right leg out behind and then just fold forward from here. Finding a way just to let go, to surrender to the pose. You might also find that if you want to square your hips, get deeper into the pose this way, that might be more beneficial, or you can roll off to the left side, whatever feels right for you. Just want you to relax into your pose here. Being mindful of those knees, making sure there's no tension in the knees. Finding a way to just relax, to melt into the pose, 
Again, remembering only to move to go deeper or back out if you've gone too far. This pose for me is always the toughest. Forcing yourself just to relax, to let go, to surrender. If there's any emotions or aches or pains running through the body, just breathe through them knowing that the sensations, the feelings will pass. This pose can often make us feel anxious, worried or stressed but through a continuous yoga practice you can find ways to release to let go last two minutes Last minute to go. The last thirty seconds, hang in there. Just keep breathing. And slowly release, coming out nice and slow. Make your way into a resting pose. Laying down onto your belly or onto your back. Just keep breathing. One more minute here. Just notice how that hip feels. Maybe there's pins and needles. Maybe it's just a warm rush.
from here, slowly make your way up, moving on to our other side. This time you're going to bring your right leg forward. Again, bringing it to 90 degrees, you can bring your other leg out to 90 as well. And you're welcome to take a twist and come down from here and work in to the outside of that IT band. That's one option you have. The other option you have is to extend that left leg out behind you and make your way into a swan pose. Whatever pose you make your way into, try to find that edge of uncomfortable. So you don't want to be relaxing, going, oh, this feels really nice. But you don't want to be completely uncomfortable where you can't let go. So you want to be kind of teetering on that edge of slightly uncomfortable. We're just breathing through here. We're halfway. Again, remembering only to move to go deeper into the pose or to back out if you've gone a little too far. We've got two minutes left. Keep breathing, noticing the sensations, the feelings that are running through your body. Last minute to go. See if you can take a scan of that body. See if there's anywhere that you're holding tension, anywhere you can let go. Maybe it's in the shoulders, in the hips. Try to let it go. Last 30 seconds. We're here, slowly make your way up into your rebound pose. It can be on your belly or on your back, whatever feels right for you. And just slowly relax, close the eyes, and just let it be absorbed into the body.
just notice how the body feels. From here, slowly make your way into a child's pose. From your child's pose, walk your hands back up, keeping the eyes closed, just sitting onto those feet. Take your prayer to your third eye. Namaste. Excellent job today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the practice. And like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you again next week.